check it out we got the uh the sunglasses on again the sun is out which means it's gonna be a good day it's kind of funny it's 57 degrees out today and considering the past like i don't know month or so has been like 30s every single day this feels like straight summertime like it's so warm today granted i'm still wearing my big jacket but it's just comfy but it feels so warm outside today today we're gonna do our weekly stop in the junkyard see if there's anything new and then when i head back home i have to pull out miley and my passenger seat has the most annoying squeak to it and i can't figure out why so i'm gonna try and pull the entire seat out and see what's going on because it's driving me insane so i just parked over at the commissary next to this boar wagon but he has the really nice chrome trim on the bumper the side moldings and on the rear of the car i would love to find one of the junkyard and be able to snag those because if i want to make this car into a gli i want to have the chrome trim and it looks so good man i want that so over here, the factory models of the Bora wagon that actually came with the chrome trim like that were the um, the Bora GTs and also like all the TDI models. Most of them, almost all the TDI models that I've seen have the chrome trim. So I would really like to find a Bora TDI or Bora GT in reflex silver that has the silver moldings with the chrome because that would be so sick. We got the Christmas jams bumping today. It's crazy. I think we have what? Today's the 18th. We have like seven days till Christmas. Seven days till christmas that's insane what do you guys ask for what do you guys want for christmas this year i don't really ever ask for anything i don't like, I don't like to ask for things um but i like to get gifts for people so what i got for casey i'm really excited for can't tell you guys because i don't touch you not to tell her but still what do you guys ask for christmas and can you believe it's already christmas time it's insane so just got to the junk card they have a car that's coming in we'll be going for auction probably next month i don't need any more cars but this is a really cool one if I got another one. All right, so I have the key right here. As you can see, it's a uh, Volkswagen, of course. This is a Passat TDI 4 motion with a V6 TDI 4 motion. Like I said, I don't need another car, but look how clean this thing is. The red's beautiful, chrome roof racks, chrome moldings. Oh, I don't need any more cars, but if I did, I would probably snag this v6 tdi 4 motion chrome trim already Let's see this. Okay. Keys. locks work oh we already got wood trim in it the newer style leather seats oh it is automatic though that kind of that kind of does suck but the leather super super nice it already has all the wood trim my steering wheel oh and it runs good too at least I'm told it runs good. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh, these seats are these leather seats are nice. These are so comfy. Alright, let's see. We have 244 on the clock, not bad. Starts right up. Cell phone holder thingy. Oh dude, the witcher in this car is so nice. I don't need it. 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 But I kinda want it. Dang it. Oh, what's down here? What are these things? I don't know what those are. I'm gonna see if I can find any information on this car or what it possibly might need or why it came in here. It might just be another car that gets dropped off because they're leaving, they can't sell it, but yo, this thing is clean. Like, leather seats are clean. There's spare tires and wheels back there. This thing is, I don't need it. I don't need it, but I kind of want it, and I kind of need it at the same time, but I don't need it, but I kind of, oh, I don't need it. Ah, what do you guys think? I don't even know what year this car is, honestly. It's like a 2000 something, I would say. Passat V6 TDI, and it's four motion. And it has wood trim already. Uh, it has this fancy steering with the buttons on it. That's kind of cool. Oh, man. I wish I wouldn't have seen this car. I'll give her a few revs here. It sounds so cool. Oh man. Let's see under the hood here. If you can see any like maybe immediate problems, but for now, I mean it looks clean. I don't really see any rust, no body damage. This thing is clean. My hands hard. I mean, I'm not a diesel guy, but it looks very clean. It sounds healthy to me, I think. A little chip there. I mean, I think it might be dirt. 
Dude, this thing is clean. I don't need it, but God, it's clean. What's back here? More wheels? Geez, there's eight wheels in this car. Are these nice? Yeah, these are kind of nice. I think these are 50112 though. I think the Passats are different than the Jettas, but I'll check. Dang, man, I don't need another car. But I kind of want another car. Man. All right, let's turn her back off here. All right, what do we think? Passat V6 TDI 4 motion. I don't need any more cars. I really don't, but like, but look at it. Just look at it. All right, before I buy something that I don't necessarily need, let's go walk around and see what we can find. Oh, oh look at it though. It just looks so good over there. I don't need it. I don't need it, but I kind of want it though. Actually, there's also this car, which is an Audi A6 2.5 TDI, which is also really cool. This one, that one's an automatic. This one is actually a six speed. Look at that, look at that. Again, I don't need it, but like, would be cool. Would be cool. I love my wagon, but to have a diesel would be even cooler. Like, I love, look at I love my wagon. Look at that thing, bam, she's looking good over there. But like uh, a 2.5 TDI, Nope, I need to get I need to get out of here. I need to get here right now. So I'm gonna show you guys a few new cars that came in. This one right here, if you remember, I filmed this on base a while back. This was the right hand drive uh, Mark IV. Bam, right hand drive Mark IV. Pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this is the tropical orange. I want to say it looks like it's tropical orange. Might be. But cool car. And now it's in here. But kind of a cool spec right hand drive. I think it's a 1.6. Also came in. We have parts. <laughs> very much part of a uh, mark II here so there's a bumper on it still there's a hatch no glass there's a grill looks like a few pieces so if you're a mark II guy there's this one here uh if you want anything off this car just message me and i can um snag something for you it's a little bit beat up the front bumper is gone and that kind of stuff but there's still a rear bumper and a few other things here and there mark four mark four mark four passat tdi passat tdi there was another Mark II I saw somewhere. This was the black bore wagon that I pulled my wood pieces out of. Not much left of this vehicle either. Another Mark IV over here. There was another Mark II I saw. I think it's back over there somewhere. There she is. This one's got fenders still. They look pretty good. Some headlights. There's no engine in it. Uh, the core support's still there. We have some interior bits. Few things there, some door cards, some seats. There's also no rear bumper, but there are tail lights that look pretty good condition. Uh, hatch has a little bit of rust, but not too bad. Not bad. Not bad. So if you're a Mark II guy and you want anything you see off of this car or that car, just let me know, I can snag it for you. A couple cool pieces here and there. God dang, we got the Pontiac Aztec rally edition my goodness what a machine what a machine of just pure styling look at the spoiler look at this look at the spoiler straight speed this thing is gorgeous you can't you can't go wrong with the aztec oh my god that interior and that cool little grab handle there for when you're going all the speeds yeah yeah i would rock an aztec I would love to have me a good old Pontiac. Oh, no, I would not. No, I would not. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna snag a few parts and I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, we are heading out. We've been here pretty much all day long. Well, it's getting dark now, but it's only about 4.30. But if you can see over there, that is a Mark IV Bora V5 automatic, unfortunately, but it just came in. It has a broken serpentine belt. But it has some cool wheels on it, like factory ones, nothing too crazy. But one thing that's cool, it does have a full set of the um, the wood interior. So I have to wait and see what they're going to do with the car. But if it goes into the yard, all of that wood interior shall be mine. Not that I need it, but if one of you guys want it, it's pretty cool. One thing I got today that I'm really excited about, if you see on here, my numbers on the bottom side are pretty faded. Uh, the chrome's nice, but the numbers are a bit faded. Found this one. Perfect chrome. Look at that. Perfect numbers all the way around. So I'll put this one here. Bam. Look at the difference so much nicer the plan was to pull out miley and mess with my passenger seat a little bit because it's squeaking so unbelievably bad and driving me insane but it's dark outside so i'll wait for tomorrow tonight though i must get caught up on some packing so over here is the steering wheel actually out of my board with the nice uh perforated leather this is sold at heading out 
Also have the Mark IV OEM bar taillights. Those are leaving and also the Mark III non-airbag steering wheel as well leaving. Things that are still for sale, I have two OEM Mark III grills for the Golf that have the nice metal bottom piece, no tabs are broken. I have a Mark IV first work steering wheel. I have an Audi steering wheel out of an A4 or an S4 and I also have an Alfa Romeo in there. Lower glove box, upper glove box. Down here we have a cassette player for a Polo. This is a B5.5 or B5 Passat shift knob. We have some like dummies and turns. There's some Polo headlights down there. GTI headlights over here. non tilt clamshells, some smooth door handles for a two-door Mark III. Uh, Euro switch over there. And then over here we still have um, rear bumpers, all smooth top ones for a Mark III, Golf, GTR, or Cabrio. And then I have, let's see, this is a Mark IV smooth Euro bumper. This is a B5 Passat, I want to say, uh, Euro smooth for bumper. And then I have a Mark III um, Golf or Cabrio full texture bumper right there. So if you see anything on the shelf over there that caught your eye, send me a DM on Instagram. It's right here on the screen uh, to say, hey, I saw this in your video. How much for that? I'll give you a price and we'll go from there. But we're going to end off the video here. Don't forget, be thankful for today. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.